Casey County mom Megan Clements says she feels like the criminal justice system has failed her. Oh, that's our wedding day. Seven years ago, her husband Michael was killed in a car crash. One day, me and him and my mom went to eat at a restaurant, and then five minutes later, he drives down the road and he's gone. This man, Marvin Lee, was convicted for killing Michael. He was sentenced to 10 years in prison for second-degree manslaughter and DUI back in 2017. Clements says at the time she had no idea that he could get out earlier through various sentencing credits. So she was shocked when she received this letter in the mail. It says the department has identified that this offender could be released within the next 60 days. After spending less than four years behind bars, Lee was out. It's an absolute slap in the face. Because that, I mean, that just tells me that his life's not worth anything to those people. So how did he get out more than six years early? According to Kentucky statutes, inmates convicted of nonviolent crimes, which is the case for second degree manslaughter, are eligible for sentencing credits. The Commonwealth's attorney who prosecuted the case, Brian Wright, wanted to see how Lee's credits could add up to more than six years. He filed a public records request that shows Lee got three years and three months total off for good behavior. He also got about a year and ten months for program completion credits, like getting his GED and taking substance abuse and anger management programs. He also got about five months for working a job. Then he got released nine months early on mandatory re-entry supervision, which is a supervised transition back into the real world. When you combine all of those things, it's, it's frustrating to our office, it's frustrating to victims. At the same time, he says Lee did what he was supposed to do in prison. He was well behaved, he took courses that were available and will help him integrate back into society when he gets out. But he thinks the amount of time inmates like him can get off as a result is just too much. The legislature uh, ha has empowered the Department of Corrections to go too far in awarding program completion credits. He says the legislature needs to change that and the definition of a violent crime because nonviolent offenders are the ones who have access to all of these credits. He believes second degree manslaughter should be designated as violent. Clements couldn't agree more. They hit so hard and so fast that the car, the engine, the entire front of the car was pushed in on him. And if that doesn't say violence, then I don't know what that would be. Marvin Lee's attorney acknowledges what happened was a tragedy, but also says he believes Lee deserved to get out when he did. I'm not taking and, and not attempting to take away uh, from the victim in this case, nor is, nor is Mr. Lee. But if you're asking me if I think the purpose of the criminal justice system is served by these sentencing credits, you're speaking to someone who philosophically believes that the purpose of the criminal justice system is to rehabilitate. He says after speaking to Lee, that purpose has been served. He also believes the legislature got it right when they designated second-degree manslaughter as nonviolent. The distinction between this type of incident and an intentional murder, there, there needs to be a distinction there. Those two are, are very different scenarios. But Clements is looking to change the law, making second-degree manslaughter a violent crime in Kentucky. And she's working with one lawmaker to make it happen and hopefully keep other families from experiencing her pain. Yeah, I was 25. I wasn't supposed to marry my husband. In Casey County, Kristen Edwards, Evening Edition.